Let's not be the other side. Let's go That's pretty cool. So this whole thing just slides out. So this this is just uh, this is just like an aluminum extrusion that is uh, just painted silk screen and this just slides in. That's that's pretty neat. So we got some uh, this plastic here, um, probably just for insulation. You don't want the 300 volts hitting this and then you know you're holding it and you're shocking your hand. Okay so here's the board taken out of the enclosure. Um, this is the front of the board, LCD display here. You have the USB port for charging, a slide switch for on off. These are the two jacks for connecting the electrodes and we have our buttons. And this little piece of foam here was a nice little touch because it does make the way the, the buttons from the outside feel when you press them. So, And we have uh, some capacitors and two inductors here. On the back side we have the lithium polymer battery and we have the charging circuit up here. This is the microcontroller and the only reason it is needed is because of the user interface. If you look at older circuits of TENS units you'll see that uh, you can get by with just a 555 timer uh, and some switches with different you know resistor values and things like that to change the frequency and the intensities so uh, this is just for the user interface otherwise we could just have here on down with a 555 timer. So the inductors here are used to uh, boost the voltage um, using a boost converter. So we have a uh, voltage regulator here that is supplying the inductor from the microcontroller and this little circuit here is our, our boost converter. So we have our diode and we have our little transistor here. So what it's doing is it's boosting the voltage from this low 3.7 volt battery uh, to a much higher voltage and then this circuit down here is like a motor driver um, like an H bridge which is turning the high voltage DC into alternating current so that's why we saw those square waves on the scope so yeah all in all it's a, a pretty simple circuit. These capacitors here are for storing that energy released from the inductors and the way a boost converter works is you send current through an inductor and then all of a sudden you cut you know you cut cut off the the current flow and the inductor doesn't like that so we get a, a large spike and boost converters take it you know they take advantage of that spike so that energy that is then stored into these capacitors which then helps drive the H-bridge here. So, but yeah, hope you guys like it. See ya.